Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. My face is already done, but we're gonna go ahead and get right into this eye look. I'm using my Lorac Unzip Gold palette here, and I'm taking that brown shade, Undeniable, and I'm just going to use that with an IT Cosmetics brush and apply it to the transition area of my eyes. To give it a little more depth and color payoff, I'm just going to take my Makeup Forever transition shade in M600 and layer that right over that Undeniable color. Moving on to start off the halo effect on my eye, I'm just going to take that shade in the upper right corner unedited from the Lorac Unzip Gold palette and I'm going to apply that to the outer V area of my eyes as well as the inner corners. And now for that pop or that highlight, I'm just going to take my favorite shade from the palette, Unleashed, and apply that right to the center of my lids, directly in the middle. And you can pack it on if you want for an increased effect. To ease the transition between the colors, I grabbed my Lancome Color Design uh, Single Shadow and Smoldering Cocoa, and I just applied that to the outer edges of that Gold Unleashed color, just so there isn't such a harsh transition across my lid. Moving on, I just used that Lancome color to repeat the halo effect on my lower lid and I just applied that to the inner and outer regions of that lower lid and went back into that Unleashed color directly in the center so I can repeat the effect. And here you see that I applied my Kiss Flirty Lashes and aligned my eyes with my Wet n Wild Wing Eyeliner that I like to use. And then I used my Benefit Roller Lash and then I went into my Waterline just to add some of that teal color with a Wet n Wild Color Pencil. And now for my bold lips, I went ahead and took Chapitulas from my bold lip kit. And now I'm lining my lips with that color. And it's such a beautiful mint color in person. I don't feel like the camera picked it up, but it's really awesome. And it's so pigmented and the color payoff is really great. But in order to make that look more natural on my skin tone, I took a blue wet n wild pencil and just created more of an ombre effect by applying that to the corners of my lips. And that is all to create this look for today. So I hope you all like it. Be sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. See y'all next time.